right here in St. Johns County. Eight-year-olds, they won the World Series for softball. Let's take a look. The mantra was, a lot of good teams out here, but there's one great one. And um, so we felt that way going into the World Series. We thought we had a really good shot, especially with our performance in the state tournament. And I think after day one or day two, we knew. We knew we had the team to beat. And if we played clean, played our ball, there was no team that was going to beat us. So, yeah, we, we were pretty confident. Woo! That is Luis Cordero, one of the five coaches of the newly crowned 8U National Champions from Creek's Complex in St. John's. While any championship is special, this one is particularly sweet. There is no World Series National Champion in 8U group that has come out of this area. We're only the second team from Florida to win it. That's extremely rarefied air. Coach Pacelli breaks down how the all-star team came together. I think we had close to 27 to 30 girls try out for our, our all-star team. So these were the top 12 that were selected. Um, and we also had another team that participated in some of these tournaments. These are the top 12 in our 8U age group. At 8 and younger, you might think there's a limit to the amount of games they play for a season. Um, you would be incorrect. We have probably a total of 70 games played this year. <laughs> We would say about 20 in the rec season and in between tournaments and we play for a long time so most girls are done by June. We're playing in August so 70 games between tournaments. That is some serious commitment from players and parents and grandparents. So I was curious, who was more stoked for the championship hardware, the kids or the adults? I, I can tell you that the girls were excited. The parents were definitely just as much or more excited. It, it was big. I mean, all these parents, um, even grandparents, I think will tell you they, they've sacrificed a lot of time, a lot of PTO. We've been at the ball field for many, many weekends, many practices. So to see the girls get that World Series, it, it was uh, a culmination of all of our efforts as, as parents and as players. This team is strong. They played the least amount of games possible in the national tournament, meaning they were undefeated. That powerful gameplay was recognized by a lot of people. These girls, they, they play a lot older than they are. They, they make some plays that I'm telling you some, some girls that are 12, 13, 14 wish they could make. One of the, one of the comments from Manassas, the runner-up coach in the World Series, is that our infield specifically played like a 10U team. So that was probably one of the be better compliments we got. Overall, we just never had a, a real uh, for sure out, which was uncommon in the 8U. So they definitely play like a 10U team. Well, let's get the girls' perspectives about the experience. It was exciting. <laughs> yeah. We got to play with our teammates. And we worked really hard. Hard work proved epic for Chloe, who won a number of awards for her tournament play. I got batting champion, the all-around World Series team, and then I got the MVP. Well, honestly, it could have gone to any one of them, but because we all played really well, but yeah. Oh, so modest. Coach Cordero has a final thought to share about this squad. This is the best team I've ever been a part of. The girls, super talented. They came together, very disciplined, strong work ethic. The coaching staff was great from top to bottom, and the parents and grandparents were so supportive. So it's the best group of people I've ever been around, hands down, without a question. Mic drop. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live.